second there. Now it's good. So there we go. Didn't miss much. Just a joust. Sorry, stream. But here we so go. With the, with the joust and the stop in the bubble of Smash Dash, Smash Dash to clear it into the back end of Fusion and Fusion to recover it. And Swift with that disc over onto, looks like his stack here, just backing it out, actually. So for uh, Fusion, playing a little bit of patient game here. Not afraid to back bet. Now that one gets to Galti's hands as the stacks come on through some more. You can see Sendo being heavily bothered, contested, but still letting it loose, knocking it loose, and on the shot, uh, just going to sail right back out that bubble. So his little rad sends his message saying, gang, gang, thank you. We are looking forward to this match. Yeah, hello to Lil Rad. Thanks for joining us today, as well as the other viewers right now. Whether you're chatting or just watching or just listening, whatever the case is, thanks for tuning in. As the stacks come in here for uh, Fusion, it's Galti to the disc first. And again, so it seems like Fusion, they are holding on to the disc a lot on their side, though. They're not really able to get those clears when they do receive it. And now as a result, Slynn just going to back that out. Actually doesn't have anyone at the barrier. He was hoping, but it was not the case. Ooh, good duck through move there from Galti as Alakos comes through. Just meets that disc right there, catching its momentum and finding the momentum on the three-point goal. Yeah, a good move from Alakos getting that clear and getting that subsequent shot. But Slynn had an advantage in the bubble and he just lost possession. Yeah, it looks like he, he was a, do a dove upon. He had maybe an angle on it, and he was hoping for one of those barrier passes. Obviously, those can get you the higher percentage shot. The problem was there was no one there. So it was it's, it's a good idea until uh, he was passing to a phantom. And I don't mean the team. We just saw them on stream moments ago competing against Vertigo there and winning that series for phantoms. Uh, right here, though, Smash Dash trying, and this time does have that available pass down mid to Street Boost. So kind of an identical play, just about Slynn approaching from that bottom corner. But this time, he does find a teammate. Yeah, Smash Dash, a very strong bubble, the bubble offensive team. Maybe they just had a miscommunication the previous possession time. And this time, they didn't make the same mistake. Lil Rad in there saying is Rift S has finally packed up. Packed up in what sense? Is that some slang I'm not getting? Packed up like you're moving or packed up like it's broken? Or <laughs> I'm a little confused. You're meaning like the, because you use a, a, a frowny face there. I can only assume maybe a wire problem because us Echo players, we know how it goes with all the spinny, uh, the spinny moves we do. It, it eventually wears things down. And that actually, yeah, so Little Rad's saying that's the case. And well, that kind of, that's a bummer. Sorry to hear as a disc gets ooh, cleared and taken. Sendo just finds it somehow off that boost. Nice job. Well, you're still covered by a warranty, so do not listen to Martin the Third. Do not throw it in the trash. Contact <laughs> Oculus. Get your replacement. They will replace it. Yeah, true. And, and wait it, your two weeks. And, and Europe does have the benefit of those uh, nice couple-year-long warranties versus us in NA. We, we, we get the one year. <laughs> Yeah, European uh, consumer protection is one nice little feature of living in that region. Yeah, especially if you're a competitive Echo player, just want, want that extra assurance that uh, you can get those replacements because this is a very physical game, obviously, and uh, it'll wear down anyone's hardware along with their bodies in a, in a quick succession, de you know, depending on the person, but yeah. So with a knockout and into the hands of Street Boost, Street Boost going for that clear through tube as it bounces back into Smash Dash's bubble to be recovered by by Fusion. And it's a tight game so far, two spot, just uh, one point, one point game, a little bit lower scoring. It's obviously seven total here as we reach this halfway point of round one. Definitely some good passing and some good defense. Sling getting that stun on Fusion. But Fusion 2 recover with Alakos again getting stunned out and into the hands of Slynn as he goes through that clear through tube. Going for a boost as well. There's double stacks forming. Oh, but having it stolen out there by Galti. So it could have been an open shot for Smash Dash, but will not be the case. Now see if they can get the goal off the bouncer. They do not, so it'll just bounce right back out to the sidewall on another clear that's uh, taken here by Smash and Sendo. 
So with the clear out and these boosts coming out from Smash Dash, Smash Dash over shooting it, but still recovering at the back line, but stolen by Gotli. Galtic going for maybe a bounce shot. Ooh, looks like it takes a bounce up top. He'll still find a stun and then get the disc right back. So no love lost and no disc lost here yet for Fusion as they look to take the lead for, uh, potentially on this offensive play. So Swift with possession, biding his time, trying to pull Dej out of position, getting that stun on Dej, getting the pass to Alakos. Alakos trying to get that cross pass to post, but Slynn able to grab it. And again, though, first on the boost, oh, but another overshoot could cost them. Here it goes, street boot from a corner. That's a tough one and taken by Swift with a Swift hands. So a lot of good bubble play and a lot of crucial stops by these defenses. And there, look at that, too, the little uh, catapult of sorts launch from Dej and, and Slynn. But no, it will not be a goal here for Fusion. But uh, I kind of like what they did there to just help contest that loose disc. The goalie, you know, flung himself and kind of sent his teammate towards him on a boost. Uh, but here will be a great pass and trying to juke does not pay off. Galdi double covered. I don't think there was any chance he was going to get through both those defenders. It was not likely and that was the case. And you know what? It resulted in this turnaround here for Slynn and Smash to go up by three. So it's still anyone's game. With three minutes and 20 seconds remaining, this is a close match, low scoring, definitely strong defenses coming out and making stops when they need to. So now on defense, there's the first stack uh, in the back. Not not seeing the, the uh, aggressive second stack like we did, for instance, from Phantoms. They were so, they were right up there in the midline, very often just uh, playing that pass. Right here, somehow getting it through. Now that was a good look for Galti but uh, just couldn't squeeze it through all that defense. Luckily, it's a rebound from Galti. Nice pass to Swift, and he'll get the dish for the goal, six to five. Galti making a similar shot as Swift, both sides of the angle, but Galti hitting it off the crossbar, giving it to Swift with a cross pass, and Swift able to get that nice vertical shot. Uh, Martin saying that uh, he thought this wouldn't be as close as it is. Yeah, right now, you know, whether it's jitters or whether it's just uh, Fusion playing well. I mean, I know Smash Dash perhaps favored here, but it, they're keeping it really close and looking good right now on, on some of these plays. Yeah, an excellent game, excellent performance from both teams. So right here, a handoff. A Dage takes that, tries to find Slim, just mishandled. Maybe grab the, the bottom of the floor instead of the disc. So that's going to be a deep shot attempt that just narrowly misses as a recovery goes in for Sendo. So Sundro to recover his backfield and immediately send that clear as a stack from Smash Dash comes out to challenge that disc. That'll just be flung into the pocket. Uh, Swift in there contesting as well as Slynn. Right back to Smash Dash now. So they're up by one. About a minute of 40 seconds left to spare. So some time still for Fusion to come back if they play some good defense again here. Maybe cause another one of those turnovers. And there's the first and there's the second. Okay, right, right there is what they needed. They got that stun, then they got the recovery. Now can they get the boost? That is the, the third thing they need to do to maybe take a lead. So Smash Dash still holding on with this one point lead with one minute and 10 seconds remaining. Oh, but that miss might cost them. Oh, they still will collect it. Galti made me thinking he has less time than he does trying to get that through, but that is very congested and actually maybe a very fortuitous bounce because that could have been right into the hands of Smash who still will recover, so it's send no checks behind him. Uh, you see there just the good awareness, not in a rush to get rid of it if he didn't have to. And now going street boot down to the bottom, but some more uh, missed passes and some good defense, quite frankly, from Fusion results in a momentary turnover. Right now, though, clock not on the side. One, uh, one point lead for Smash, so Fusion has to press hard on the defense. So street boot taking his time, running this clock out. 30 seconds, they have the advantage below goal, and they get this shot at three meters. Sendo target, pushing it to three points. And so I want to point out here for this one too, notice this pass was very long, probably diveable. I mean, it was long, it was a slow momentum. On that one, if you're the goalie, you definitely want to dive that. That was a, one of those things, whether you're diving the disc or the player who's receiving it, either way, you could have definitely caused some interference and made sure the catch wasn't clean. Uh, make sure that if nothing, he had no time to do anything with it. But uh, yeah, so on that one, just smash, playing it patiently and finding a goal on the last 
that last turnaround, and it will be an 8-5 to five victory here, just narrowly escaping uh, Fusion's grasp. Fusion trying to make that long pass from mid-tunnel, but Dej was there to cut it off and cut off their chances of any type of comeback to tie it up. So off to the round screen, the score screen here. It is Sendo leading it with four points, as well as two saves, two steals. A Slin with the two points, an assist, and 20 stuns. Not uncommon to see him leading the, the stun category for his team. Uh, Dej, a save and a steal. And Street Boo with a pair of points, an assist, and uh, uh, one steal, eight stuns now. Uh, what are you seeing from Fusion's side of things, Sput? I am seeing Swift with 22 stuns, two steals, and two points. Galti, two assists, one save, two steals, and 16 stuns. And David Duel coming in with 10 stuns. So good performance from everyone on Fusion. Fusion just needed to make a few more passes and get a few more shot attempts. But let's see what happens in the second round. Both of these teams are very evenly matched. We had a very entertaining first round, and I'm sure the second round will be just as entertaining. Definitely the hope, and what well, we're about to uh, see that come to fruition. Possibly, anyways. So here it goes, Joust, for the second round. Starting off here, a close game taken by Smash Dash in the first, but Fusion really hanging in there. Both of these teams currently winless, but again, all, uh, small sample size, so just wanting to get their first win. Gulti and Swift attached. Uh, do an anchor pass, interestingly, and that's just going to be snagged right out by Slynn as he takes a soft roll into the goal area. Street just missing that one. Maybe gets his own rebound, can back it out and slip to Slynn, and uh, they'll try again here as well. I think as Martin said that there are jitters, and the jitters might have been apparent with that last shot attempt. Yeah, well, last time we saw uh, Smash Dash there, was they were playing Team Gravity, and they gave them absolute fight. I mean, it, there were one or two... Uh, I'm pretty sure there was at least an overtime in there. I mean, it went to Game 3. It went to the final minute of a couple of those matches, and uh, Smash looking like they, they had that victory secured, but just a couple misplays late did unfortunately cause them uh, to drop that one, and Team Gravity just as well, some clutch goals. But it was a really tremendous game from Smash Dash on the whole, so uh, definitely not a team to really underestimate is Smash Dash, but Fusion showing just the same. They're showing that they can compete right here with the best of them, and, and with the veteran teams like Smash Dash. So with that shot attempt below goal, a repeat of the second shot from the end of the first round, Dej to send a target at three meters to take the lead by two. And Ninja Knight in the chat there saying Fusion have probably improved the most, though, out of everyone in the league uh, in a short amount of time. And yeah, that's, that's really good to hear. Uh, obviously, I, I'm not heavily integrated in the, the scrim and practice scenes of the EU games. Cast a lot of them, but I don't really see all the in-between stuff. So it's good to hear that they haven't been uh, just, I guess, taking it easy on the practice lane. I know a lot of North American teams definitely the same way as we see the, these teams just kind of emerge and, and make their claim as being good top teams. And here is Street Boo for Smash, though, coming back with another score from down low. As Little Rad says, NA players are Chick-fil-A enraged filled juke boys. I'm trying to figure out what that means, but I like it. <laughs> Depends on the player, depends on the team, I suppose. But certainly, if you look at a, a couple of them, I won't name names, but <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of pretty pass-heavy teams. Like, I would say, um, you know, obviously, you have Infinite and Kangorillas, uh, Joker. I mean, you have, you have a lot of teams that do prioritize passing more. I know Joker in the past has been one of those teams that were really anti-meta, uh, unconventional. And right there, that's a very intentional shot from Slynn, however. But yeah, like for, for Jokers, they were, if nothing else, the, the impractical Jokers, if you will. Everything they did at first was kind of counter to metas, but over time it became more meta. And just as well, over time, Joker became more meta themselves. They're, they're a team that does a lot more passing. But it's a mix. You definitely have your, your Jukesters involved in the NA scene. Let's not talk about the Juke train that they run. I know everyone you love it. Loves, <laughs> everyone loves the Juke train. I can't, I can't stand that. 
I'm well aware, but over goes the street, boo. Uh, Joker, Joker loves them, their trains. But uh, over here it goes, trying to train on through and truck in for the goal. It's Slynn once again, so he's benefiting from those backboard shots and off those boosted plays. So Smash Dash playing a lot faster than they did in the first round, able to take an eight-point lead at six minutes remaining. You know, I will say we haven't actually seen the train a whole lot this season. I, I think I've seen it maybe once or twice, but really pretty seldom so far in these first two weeks. There was a while there where we would, from certain teams, we would see them a couple times a game, but not lately on either region. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, over here we'll go nonetheless as uh, Galti flies on through, collecting, collecting, wow, collecting the disc for his team, has a few open players, but somehow just misses all of them on that one. So uh, an unforced turn uh, turnover, and Smash will receive it for a moment as Galti gets it right back. So with that boost out from Fusion, not able to meet the defender of Smash Dash, but getting it back into their possession, Galti sending that soft pass forward, and Ooh. the shot into so Street Boost, but the interception and the follow-up from David Duell to put them on the scoreboard with two points. That was a nice play there. The first save looking good just on the one-on-one -on -one play right from that corner. A little bit... Uh easier save in in the context of you know i always say on these streams when you have uh, these corner approaches it does make it easier for the goalie to grab it because the, the shooting angle is a lot smaller now that said it's great just persistence from fusion to recollect that disc and uh, put it in for the two but giving up possession to the man in the backfield alacost alacost with the pass to swift swift with that quick pass to double diamonds and not able to maintain the momentum but almost a partial shot as it Sails back into the hands of Slynn. Not quite the bounce they wanted for Fusion, so Smash will gladly take it from them. And oh, Slynn though, now he loses it. So maybe an open three if they can get that one, but no, these stack already turning their heads. But again, the recovery from Fusion. Can't put it back, another rebound, another pass, and see if they can make it a good pass there towards Barrier. They do not, so it'll go sailing right back into uh, well, never mind, to the hands, rebounded hands of Fusion. Still couldn't put it through though, Spot. Yeah, I'm stuck here thinking about Chick-fil-A as everyone talks about it in the chat, but send no target with possession, sending it through the mid as it bounces, and these teams are clustering, they're fighting for that disc. And first to it is Fusion again. So, I mean, they're, they're finding themselves just a lot of second, third opportunities. They're really getting to the disc first a lot this round, or at least getting these, these rebounded plays off of some clears or, or saves, some of these misses. Unfortunately, Fusion not able to convert it into offense, and that's kind of where it's killing them, because uh, right now their defense and recoveries aren't too bad. So with a clear advantage down court, Smash Dash not able to keep that momentum, sending it off the shield. Trying to get that just past the hands. Street Boo slapping it down to Sendo, but Sendo covered quite well by a pair of uh, Fusion players. So again, some more frantic play as the disc gets sent into the wall a few different times and right back to Street Boo now. So with that man in the back line, Dej. Dej taking his time holding a double diamonds. Trying to pull this Fusion defense out of position. And finding Street Boo in position for a pass. It'll give it right back to Sendo down low. And Sendo, he's going to back that out. Again, it, it's Smash Dash here just trying to play some patient gameplay. Uh, right there, just a direct sling of a pass. Does get into the hands of a Fusion player. So it's a turn over. And if they can find their boost, but they're struggling to right now. So it'll be taken right back by Smash again. So... With Streepu with that clear advantage and getting the shot off the backboard of 15 meters. 16 meters a second out of his hand, 8 meters a second off that backboard to extend the lead by 3 points with 11-2 advantage smash dash. I see Martin in there saying EU is developing more into controlled clear and boost. Yeah, notice notice that it's even last, last uh, season, preseason, there's a lot of uh, these rollouts which... Uh, even even just these offensive rollouts sometimes you get these throws that aren't necessarily to a player more more so it's to a spot on the floor so they they kind of let the stack compensate for it um, but it's it's 
Yeah, it's an interesting strat. We're seeing a few of these American teams, North American teams, coming out with it as well. I think I saw Wireless Jacks definitely came out with it last week, or earlier in the week. But yeah, the meta differences between these two regions, always interesting to watch. I think more definitely. I think more over time, they're, they're kind of slowly meshing together and into a, you know, kind of a combo combination as the Slin goes for the three-point combination. But they're becoming like a combination of each other. Now, there's, there's obviously still differences where I think the boosting and the clearing is still more common on the European side and passing still more common on the North American side. Uh, but it's really much more of a middle ground compared to where it used to be. It, there, it used to be a pretty dramatic difference back in 2017-18, uh, but uh, much closer these days. And as Martin says, it's interesting, sports and Different regions have different strategies. If you compare the MLS League, the North American Soccer League, to the Italian Football League, you would see a huge difference in skill, first of all, and you'd see a lot of different strategies on the court. Oh, yeah. No, oh. Same applies to even uh, basketball, right, where European European players are very known in, a, in NBA and FIBA and things like that as this nice snatch from Alicost as well as a punch, but they're known for like a more finesse and fundamental kind of things where... Uh, NBA is more about just flash and power and things like that. And that's what's in interesting about these different regions. I can't say it enough. Different regions play differently, and it's nice to see a variance in play. And off of that one, just narrowly missing if it wasn't for that island. However, there was a goalie, so nonetheless, it will be 14 to uh, Fusion, unable to get too much going in offense this round, although their defense was nice in places, but Smash Dash coming through with a two-round victory. A good game for both teams. This series going to Smash Dash. A good first round and a decisive victory for Smash Dash in the second round, keeping that momentum for the first round. And as Martin the Third says, can't wait for the Korean Echo League. I have a feeling that no matter how these this game develops, the West will reign supreme, and we will beat the Eastern Leagues. Is, is that what's going to unify the two regions for good? <laughs> Just <laughs> introduce the, the Asian League the region into the, uh, the leagues, and then, and then we'll focus our efforts on taking them down before they can even start. That would definitely make this game a lot more intense, interregional uh, leagues battling one another for the World Championship. I can't wait for the future of Echo Arena. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, and seriously, yeah, it would be good to see definitely more global play. We have plenty of popularity in these uh, two regions of, you know, NA and EU, but definitely seeing uh, some more of Asia into integrated into the mix down the road, especially with Quest and things like that. It'll be fun to see one day. Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. All right. Well, most of these players left uh, still for Fusion. There you can see three points for Alakos and... David Duell with two, as well as Swift, Galti. Not able to put on points, but he got the pair of assists, saves, and steals. So it was a nice effort. Again, it was just more so on the uh, defensive end, or the, sorry, the offensive end. They couldn't uh, find those passes, and they couldn't connect on those shots. But uh, otherwise, the brawling was nice, and the defense in the, around the bubble was nice. Most definitely, as these teams continue to play through so that they can let us look at their stats, which I appreciate. A good game from both teams. And yeah, so Smash Dash finding themselves the beneficiaries of their first victory here in two games. So they're one on one on the season. Uh, Fusion, despite, again, some tight competition, uh, just unable to pull it through. So they'll fall to, I believe, one and four. But, but yeah, still well done from them. Uh, certainly, or one and three, I think I should say. So 